Andres, your guitar sage here, to teach you how to play 50 ways to say goodbye. I'm looking at my notes here because I just taught this to one of my students and I said, you would like to know it too. And that's why you tuned in. So here you go. We're going to learn these chords. Super easy, super flipping fun. <laughs> Here's how to order. Here we go, kids. So <clears throat> you see I'm capo at the fourth fret. You know, I like the capo. Makes bar chords and all this stuff a lot of fun. Um, or chords, I should say, these open chords. Really, we have three bar chords here. Three uh, bar chords here. Is that right? Yeah, realistically, we only use two of them a lot, but there is a third one used in this chord, but it's the same form every single time, okay? Don't run away because I said bar chords because I have a remedy for what ails you in regards to bar chords. Before I forget it, you're going to want to look up this video, effing F chord, that's E-F-F-I-N-G, <clears throat> F chord. And I'll show you how to play this chord, I'll show you basically how to noodle it, how to get your, your fingers wrapped around it, and then if you know how to do that, you'll be able to play these forms, okay? So, <clears throat> I'm assuming you know how to play these basic chords like E minor, A, G, those sorts of things. If you don't, you need to go and you need to go to yourguitarstage.com, get the free ebook there. Um, I'll give you the nine essential chords that, that every guitar player should know. You probably know them. If you don't, here we go. <clears throat> get the free ebook anyhow. Tons of great stuff there at yourguitarstage.com. Okay, I'm looking at my notes, and so let's go over this. Um, I'm going to tell you about the chords, and I'm going to tell you about a little bit of what, what fancy pants kind of strumming I'm going to be doing here. Okay? And all together, it's, uh, it's going to sound really nice. Okay? So, again, capo to the 4th fret, standard tuning. The beginning part's going to go like this. And I'll show you the strumming in a minute. But basically we have B minor, A, E minor, A, D, G, E minor. And here's our bar chord, which is an F sharp. Okay, <clears throat> so let's talk about this for a second. Chords are B minor, E minor, A, D, G, E minor. Okay, so you can write that down. Every time you hear the intro with the horns, if you want to know the, the uh, bugle part there, the trumpet part, go to yourtrumpetsage.com and I can help you with that. Otherwise, let's keep doing the guitar. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> the chords. We have B minor. Oh yeah, that was the other bar chord. But if you notice, it's the same chord, just moved down one string. Okay? You, if you don't know how to play the bar chord, you have to watch that effing F chord. I'll teach you how to do that, but we're not going to spend a half hour here me showing you that. So you gotta, you gotta do that. Okay? On your off time. So, <clears throat> B minor, E minor, A, D. Now, whenever I'm playing any of these fifth note string chords, uh, I'm muting the sixth string. So for instance, if I play that B minor, I'm muting the sixth string so I can get a nice chord that sounds like that instead of this, or this. We don't want that sixth string sounding during our fifth string chords, or fifth string root chords like B minor, A, C, A minor, those sorts of chords. <clears throat> okay, so make sure you do that. Uh, what else here? Okay, so this is also going to be the verses. So these that part where the trumpet's playing, what we call the, the intro, is also called the turnaround, and that's played in between the chorus and the verse. But essentially, 
we have three parts to this song. We have the part that I just showed you, and that is going to be the intro, verse, turnaround, which is the part in between the chorus and the next verse, and, um, and the outro of the song, okay? So four parts there. The chorus is the chorus every single time, and then there's a bridge, okay? So we're gonna break this down into three different parts. Um, <clears throat> anything else that I need to tell you? Let's talk about the strum here for a minute, because really it only does this, it doesn't do it in the verse, I mean in the chorus. It does it in every other part of the song, but not in the chorus. Hmm, maybe not the bridge either. Definitely in the verse, definitely in the intro, and definitely in the turnaround. All the same chord progression that I just showed you, we're gonna be doing this fancy pants, that's a technical term, fancy pants strum. Actually, I think it's called Rascado or something like that. For those of you that uh, are versed in Spanish guitar, you can curse at me in the reply area there, or the uh, comments section, because uh, I might have said that wrong, Rascado or something like that. But basically it's when we rake our fingers or pick across the strings like this, okay? Instead of going, I do this, and so the difference between it is this. If I were to just do straight up strumming, it would sound like. But instead I go. And basically what you're doing is you're just dragging the pick slower across the string so it has more of a Okay, so let me do this slow. Okay, so we have a mute in there. So slow strum, quick up so, and then you can finish out the strum like this. Let's do that slow again. Up. Okay, so you go slow. that last one, that last upbeat, you could do away with that if you're going to do the raschiato, the, the, the slow strum, because it'll give you time to get in there early. Watch this. So I'm ending it on that downbeat so I have a second to come back to do that, that slow rake. Otherwise you might catch yourself doing this. not enough time. <clears throat> so that's the strum. Work on that separately, okay? Let's talk about the, the, the chorus, okay? The chorus is going to go, um, it's what I started the song with. So, down in the night, I so I'll just, I'm going to say these chords, okay? Um, and here's the strum. One, two, and, and four, and, okay? One, two, and, and four, and. If you don't know how to strum, Go to yourguitarsage.com, get that book. I have a battery of different strums, basically all the strums that you might use in rock, blues, country, jazz, that sort of thing. Um, and I have videos to support it with the links in there. So get, make sure you get that. But otherwise, you should understand what I'm saying when I say one, two, and, and four, and. Forget about this up, down. You, if you're thinking that way, you're not thinking about it totally correctly because it doesn't say where we're at in the beat. I explain that in that book. Get that, it's free. So, it should be one, two, and, and four, and during the choruses, okay? And so the, the chords for the chorus is gonna be G, D, A, B minor, A, G, D, C 
sharp minor, F sharp. And then basically repeating that um, almost the whole part, but it changes a little bit. Second time around, G, D, A, B minor, A, G, D, F sharp. So basically, the first time around we had that C sharp minor in there, we don't the second time around. Cool? Okay. Um, and that is the chorus, every single time. Easy enough. I'll play it. Let's see, let's see. She went down in an part again that's the part part one that I showed you which is the verse um, or intro yeah verse and intro right okay good 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 okay so here we go going into the bridge now of course the second verse is the same second chorus is the same but then we go to this this um, there may be a third verse I'm not sure I don't know you'll know the bridge when it gets to it. it's the part of the song um, I want to live a thousand lives with you that sort of thing but before we do that <clears throat> There is a G that is played. So you're going to do the whole chorus again, um, a second time around. Then you're going to do the turnaround, which is known as the intro of the song, but you can't call the intro an intro in the middle of the song. It's called the turnaround. So it's this part. And I'm going to play it for you here because I'm going to show you what it does. It goes to an F sharp. You know this part. Um. I forget the melody, but basically the chords are A, I want to live a thousand times with you. G, I want to be the one you're dying to. A again, and then G but you don't want to. Okay, so it's just A, G, A, G. And then it comes back to the F sharp. That's cool, but if my friends ask where you are, I'm gonna say, I don't know this song, right? I teach tons of songs, not just to you guys, but to my one-on-one -on -one students. Yeah, I'm getting defensive. I don't know these flipping songs by heart. I just teach them, okay? So um, I write my notes down and then I'm off to the races. So, that's cool, but if, I, if, if my friends ask where you are, I'm going to say... See, that's easy enough, right? There's three parts. Been over them with you. You know the chords. Uh, you know the capo at the fourth fret. Uh, there's nothing else, really, that I need to be telling you about this tune. Um, except, you got to know the chords. You got to know how to play the bar chords. I've given you the information for all that. If you need more help with guitar, please hit me up here or hit me up on Twitter or Facebook and all that jazz. I'm trying to figure out where to point to my left. Yeah, it's these guys right here, right? They've been there the whole time. I just haven't seen them. So go there and, um, and I'll answer any questions you might have. Check out the unstoppableguitarsystem.com. That's my master course been teaching for 30 something years and I finally created an online master course for all my folks around the world that like the way that I teach. It's one dollar to get in. Whoa, that's expensive. You could get a bottle of water for more than that. Um, so make sure you go there and get that. What else? You know I'm a big fan of the animals so spay and neuter, spay or neuter your animals and uh, please respect animals all around the world. They deserve our respect. All right, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage. See ya. She went.